what's up y'all i am so late to the party let me tell you how i even got into this my good friend good sis Lori, she got me on this charlotte tilbury train i ain't gonna, ain't gonna get into it but she got me on this train nevertheless i picked up a few products from charlotte tilbury and then i said you know what let me try this i did not buy this with Lori. i bought this later on i bought this about the top of the year in like in the January, didn't even open it but I said, Kelly, let's get into it. Let's, you know, I can't return it, so let's get into it. <laughs> so this is, I've had the um, the e.l.f. version, the Halo Glow, which I love, the doe foot. I might even have it back here. It's just kind of too old, so I can't use it anymore. So I have this one. This is like the, the, the original, the OG. So the shade that I have in is deep eight now this is not like a foundation a lot of ladies use this you know to just kind of put underneath their foundation to give it a glow some people just use it to kind of have that fresh everyday on the go no makeup makeup look just to kind of even things out that's what i'm going to do with it um i'm at a point now where i want to kind of have a nice light makeup i don't own any heavy foundations minus one which is my dior forever I don't have any foundation. You might see them up here, but that I'm actually using everything is on a more lighter neutral scale. And for good reason, you know, I'm getting older up there, so I don't really want to, you know, pile it on like that. Not that I wore a heavy makeup look anyway, but just allowing things to be a little bit more breathable, a little bit more natural looking, a little more radius. And you guys know I love me a good matte look. But here we are, here we are. Let's put some primer on. I have everything linked down below. But the main focus is this here. This is just called, it's the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youth Glow. So that's what we're going with. Now, I did not put it on my face. I just put it on my hand. So that's as far as we're going. We're going to use the Wet n Wild. Oh, this, this, this primer smells so good, so good. A little bit goes a long way. But I just love how it, it smells. And since we're doing the glow, the whole natural thing, we might as well just keep it going. I did my brows for time six. I don't want to draw this um this out. But yeah. So let's just get right into it. We don't have to play around. I do want to use some like new products, you know, in this video. But I think I'm going to hold off and put it in another video. We're just going to focus on our good girlfriend Charlotte so let me see should we shake it up I don't know this is my first time putting it on my face shade 8 hmm she's brownie now this doe foot is not as not as big as the elf one the elf one is big okay so you see you 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 see nothing you <laughs> so this is just pretty much get, like i said giving you that good glow i again i see women just usually put this under their foundation to give it a good glow this is just that you see this this is just healthy skin right here this is healthy skin this is that good summer this is that good, good, good summer, like, okay, healthy skin, you know, you've been working on your skincare, everything is looking good, you're giving good bronze. Now, this looks great, y'all. I am so mad I'm late to the party. I am so mad that I'm late to the party. Oh my God. Why do I sleep on this Charlotte Tilbury? I tell you, Lori told me. Lori told me this looks good. This looks good, hands down. Now I'm gonna go in just for a little bit more. I mean, I don't need any more, but it feels like a moisturizer. It really does. It feels like a tinted moisturizer. I mean, I don't see the whole gist of it being something you put underneath your foundation. You could just wear this just like this. This is for. I can see if my daughter wore um, makeup and she wanted to get in something that's kind of light to give her a nice, fresh, healthy look. I can see this in her. My daughter is much lighter than me, but my youngest. 
So I can see her wearing this. If you know, this is this is giving very youth, very, very, very much youth. Healthy skin. You know what? I'm liking it. I don't know. If you use this, let me know. And let me know how you use this, okay? I'm going to go ahead and just put some more makeup on. I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer, kind of just fix up underneath the eye. I want to blend out my, um, underneath my brows. I did, I did use, um, my Dior backstage just to kind of carve things out. But I want to tone that down a little bit. And you know, just, just see how we can pull this together. Okay, I like this. This is giving very, it's very lightweight. I can say hands down, very, 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 very lightweight. I did just put some spray on. I did use the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to go get the big one. I'm going to go get the big one. The big one is definitely pricey. But, yeah, I wish there was a, oh, oh, my God. So I can pour some of the, because uh, you know sometimes you can't be holding on to these. You got to throw these out. But, yes, like, how I got this. This is about Charlotte Tilbury right now. This is very, very nice and light. I'm so sad and I'm, I'm but sad and happy that I took so long, sad, but I'm happy that I did come around and I did get this because this is very, very nice and light. This is nice and light, lighter the, even than the, the elf one. But I like the, the look. I mean, it's giving me, like I do have on foundation. I'm not gonna say like I don't, I don't have on no makeup but it's on a lighter scale um i would definitely recommend to anyone who's not a heavy makeup wearer and you just want to like brush something on your face to kind of get everything at bay even if you don't wear like so like i was saying i got a little choked up y'all but um i would definitely recommend this to anyone who doesn't wear foundation like heavy that like something more nice and light something more on the neutral side this is just that quick on the go i mean you can even not just rub this on with the with the um doe foot but even if you did it with your hands or if you did it with a brush it will still go on nice and light this is giving face and body um very 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 tinted moisturizer ish if you will if you disagree please let me know but if you do agree i also want to know this is very very light this is lighter than my dior this is lighter than um trying to think what else I got going on here this is lighter than um even the MAC face and body this is very very nice and light I'm gonna definitely recommend this to one of my girlfriends because you know sometimes she will um ask me you know what foundation or what can she wear that's something nice and light and this is it this Charlotte Tilbury is it's got to find your shade range because this this eight this is bronze eight this will vary for several skin tones like you know some of them might be two three four shades lighter than me versus two shades darker than me you know give or take because this is like not like a one size fit all but they have they only have a few of these and then you can kind of like gauge where you fit in but i like it it's giving very very natural and you also are able to see any imperfection now i did not use a thick primer at all to do anything mattifying any pore filling nothing like that you still see my skin which i do appreciate so you go girl hey charlotte i'm becoming a fan i am becoming a fan all because of lori it's you girl <laughs>